So welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna do like a part two of the PV, PCV system. So we fitted the 034 Motorsport valve in there. And we did the cardboard test on here. But we will basically be changing that around. So what we have is another cap. Because this cap has got this billet aluminium thing, so it's got a lot more weight in the standard cap. So see if just changing the caps over gives us that vacuum we need and the cardboard wasn't that reliable. And also, we will put a standard PCV valve in to see if it makes any difference to the 034 one. And also we'll, we'll measure them and, you know, just check them out, compare the 034 one and this one to each other to see if there is any difference and also to see whether putting a standard valve in gives us the vacuum we need in the head than what the other valve doesn't the a34 doesn't so let's get this car warmed up and we can start testing right so the car is warmed up so let's see what the cap's doing today let's see what the cap's doing today just in case it's doing anything different to last time we tested it so Right, so that cap off. There's our brand new cap. So now I put a brand new cap on it, so let's see what it does. So it does the same thing the cardboard does. Exactly the same thing. So what we do now is we'll swap the PCV valve over from the 034 one to the OME one, but also we'll take some measurements of them to see if there is much difference between the two. Let's have a look between the difference between the 034 and the standard. You know, I think that hole looks bigger than that one. Let's see what we got on the Verdia. 6.5. And what have we got on the back edge? 6.5. Seven point nine. So as you can see, this is a lot smaller than what this one is. But this one I think this feels a little bit stiffer, but then once it's open, it does feel like it flows a lot better than this one. So what we'll do is we'll put an OME valve in and see if we still have that same issue. So I've now just fitted the standard valve back in there. So let's see if that makes any difference to this. Absolutely no difference. Someone did mention me that sometimes the filler neck, this bit can leak. So what we do is we'll remove that. So let's get the cap off. I think that just comes off somehow. So that literally just unscrews off. I don't think this is gonna make any difference because once you've undone the cap, you've allowed vacuum and pressure to get in and out anyway. So even if that was leaking, it won't make a difference once you undone this cap. So, but we'll try it anyway, see if it does. So 
that still hasn't made any difference at all. This is a weird thing, because I have got vacuum coming straight off there, which we can test in a minute. So I'm just trying to do one more test, and what I've done is I've actually removed everything, so there's no valve actually in there now. It's just a straight through thing. So I'm gonna put that on, so technically, there's no valve to open or close. It should technically just keep on pulling that vacuum through. So let's see if that makes any difference. That has made a difference. Obviously we need a valve in the system, but with nothing in there, we are getting the vacuum that we want. So I might just try and modify the 034 one quickly and see if that makes any difference. If we can just sort of make it... No. Easier to blow through. So thinking about playing around with all this PCV valve and stuff, the only way I got vacuum was removing the insides of that and having a straight through. So I've drilled this out a lot more to make it bigger, to make it more free flowing when the valves open. So we'll see if that makes any difference. It is easy to blow through and it still does close itself. So I think we'll go with that. I probably do need to put a little bit of Loctite on that to keep that closed. I think it had something like that on before. So I've opened up the uh, 034 while I've drilled out a bit more to make it more free flowing. So let's see whether that makes a difference. This is the last sort of test I'm going to do on this now because unless you, well, we'll talk about the conclusion at the end. So we've tried literally everything we can try. I've got no oil leaks on the engine. I know the engine's good. The conclusion I think about having a PCV valve with a catch can is, I really don't know. Because technically it should work and some people have had it to work. But the only way I managed to get it to work and get that vacuum here like we wanted it was to literally take the valve out and do a straight connect so there's no valve so what I'm thinking is the inlet manifold feels like it's not strong enough to pull the vacuum through the catch can that's what I'm I'm getting for it I think it probably does help and it probably is making it not as bad but I just don't think the vacuum from the inlet manifold at idle is enough to pull everything through. So I'm just going to leave that in there because it's in there. Maybe it loosens up over time. Maybe it'll get better. I don't know. I'm going to put the neck back on here. I don't really know what else to test on this because we've tried pretty much everything. We've tried another valve. We've put a different cap on it. We've ditched the cardboard testing. I said, the only way we got that vacuum of what we wanted was to literally not have a valve. So you really do need to have a proper free flowing valve 
because I've tried everything and I can't make any difference with it. So comment below what yours is doing and it'll be interesting to see what setups you got. Do you have, so comment below if your cat bounces, do you have a completely standard car, standard PCV system in there, no catch can and see where it bounces. Let us know in the comments below. Do you have a catch can, no PCV system like what mine was like before? Does your cat bounce? Or do you have a catch can and a PCV valve fitted similar to sort of how, how mine is now and does your cat bounce? So it'll be very interesting to see. And I reckon we'll be looking at about 90, 95% people of caps are bouncing. That's what I'm thinking at the moment because as I said, the only way I can stop that cat from bouncing is to totally strip the inside of the valve out so there's no ball in, there's no nothing in it. It's just free flowing. That is the only way I can get enough vacuum. Well, there is enough vacuum, enough unrestricted vacuum. Yeah. So basically, you've got your vacuum coming off here and it's getting to there and it's getting restricted. And the only way to have it pulling all that vacuum out is the gut the valve so it's straight through but then you don't want that because then it's constantly pulling everything out and you just you just don't want that so i've done what i can do let's just put it back together now isn't it anyway comment below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one